Vicky here with you and I'm gonna try not to make you too dizzy um, because I'm hand holding the camera so this is what I was using to hang on my paint bee papers so you can see that there's some right now that were hanging to dry and there's a bunch of these little plastic clips that broke through time because obviously this was from the dollar store so it served me well but I can't stand it anymore so I got a new one and it's in the box right now so I'll take it out of the box and I'll share with you what it looks like well I hung it and wow what a difference this thing is just amazing it it's gonna hold so much paper and it's really sturdy and I love that at the top I'm gonna go up so that you can kind of see um, at the top there's a closure so that it doesn't like it's not gonna come undone uh, and just fall off so I love it very very useful I think and what I didn't realize when I purchased this was that there was extra goodies with it so they sent this as well so a hanger and then a bunch of these little clips and these obviously I'm going to be using them for my mixed media because that's perfect I'm always looking for clips to hold pages together open so that's going to be just brilliant and another thing that I purchased as well and I'm hoping to put into oh it's it's gone. <laughs> it's all stuck together now that I want to share it with you guys so it's one of those it's a hanger like this and then I can hang it on because I've got a lot of shelves that have holes like this so I want to hang it on there and then I can hang my oops there it goes um, I can hang my things on there instead of having just one hook um, I think it might be very useful so anyway I got a few I've got a set of four of these and um, I'm looking forward to installing them but super super psyched about this and I will be um, going to the amazon.com store to see if they have the equivalent I would suppose so um, and I'll put in the list my my description in the my list of favorites so if you're interested you can go and check it out obviously if you purchase through that link I will get a small um, commission back but it doesn't add any extra cost to you so it's positive for my channel and it's positive for you um, because this way I have already done the search and found something that is very useful so uh, that's it for now I will be seeing you soon um, I'm gonna I got also my guillotine so I think I'm gonna show this in the same video and just edit them together okay so I'm back with a little unboxing I wanted to share with you guys the my new guillotine um, I've had this one for a very very long time and as you know I totally abuse it um, I love tonic brand it's just amazing um, and it's been through a lot with me um, it's fallen on the floor multiple times and cut so much paper um, and I've tried to sharpen the blade uh, without success there's a little nick in it and it's just it, it, it's just destroying the papers now and so I needed another one so I was debating ordering exactly this one but there's also this one Tim Holtz but also uh, done by to Tonic and I decided to go with this one because it looked a little bit bigger and the blade looked the the, the handle looked a little bit bigger as well so I thought that might be a good a good thing to to have instead of this one but so I wanted to share both with you so that you can see what they look like compared to one another because obviously this one is about to go in the garbage so this is this is the one see this one here didn't go all the way to six inches it's uh, when you look at it it's five and something whereas this one is six 
inches. So that's going to be very useful because a lot of times I need stuff that's six inches. I also love that they put um, little dimensions here. Three by five, two by three and a half, three by five. So they've got, you know, like the measurements so you can kind of make it. So that's useful. And I love the, 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 the handle of the blade. It's, yeah, it's a bit more expensive than this one, but it looks very sturdy. This one is closed off, so you don't see the, the, the design. I guess this one, because it's open, it's, it might not be quite as heavy. Well, it is heavy, but this one is bigger, so it's kind of hard to, uh, to tell. Um, but yeah, the one thing I wish that they had done on this one is I really liked, I really appreciated the handle on this one. And there's no handle on this one here, unfortunately. So if there's one thing that would have made this one perfect would have been to have a handle here. Um, so that, you know, to transport it, it would be better. Um, but other, and, but I guess because of the fact that it's open, I guess you can transport it that way. That's probably why versus this one, which obviously would make it very complicated if there was no handle and it was completely filled up. So maybe that's why it's open up at the bottom. But uh, yeah, so I'm very pleased. You will be seeing this new tool a lot and I have to bid farewell to this one. It's like I said, it's uh, given me many, many, many years of uh, service, and I really, I really, really love it. Um, but I think I'm going to love this one as well because, like I said, it's the same brand, except that this one is the Tim Holtz designed it, and the fact that there's an inch difference, and I use a lot of six by six, this will probably be very useful for that. But other than that, the dimension is the same. Um, so it's eight and a half uh, inches, so that's perfect. I've got the bigger the guillotine anyway for the 12 by 12. So yeah, it's, uh, I think it's going to be a great new tool. So I will put in the, disc in the, in my Amazon, this one is already in the Amazon. I'm going to try to find this one and link it as well in case you're, uh, you're interested, um, or if you're looking for a new one you're gonna have the the options and uh, that's it so I hope you found this enjoyable I can't wait to add these to when I'm creating I think it's gonna be really fun um, I already have two types I have these here which I think I had gotten I don't remember where I got these I got them a long time ago and I have these cheapy ones, but I, I think I prefer, like these are th sturdier, I think, than these. Anyway, I'm always looking for clips, because when I make sets of cars and stuff to, uh, um, to sell or different items, sometimes I clip it together this way so that they stay together until I actually sell it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have, much use for this and uh, hoping you guys are all safe and doing well. Love you. Bye.